on Patreon. Hopefully you all are feeling fantastic today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look at the never ending story, 1984. Now, I'm looking forward to this very much because it was told, I was told to put it on the list by someone and I threw it on the list and you guys voted for it. I don't know why you voted for it. Someone said, um, uh, Dylan, you're not going to cry over it. And I was thinking, well, if I do, it's because it's me being me. And you're going to get genuine reactions. That's what this channel is all about. And if I'm not being genuine, then I'm not going to do YouTube. And if you know me from my from, from, from the main channel, Aussie Dylan, you guys know that it's literally me being me. And if I don't if I'm not going to be me, I'm not going to do YouTube. This is the whole point of doing YouTube me. Living, living my dream, because I can be myself, I can be myself, I can express myself without people attacking me at all, without people judging me at all, they see me as this big, strong, Aussie, yeah, but I still have emotions, and people in, in the, in, in, uh, people in the outside world, they're so quick to judge us when, when, when we show our emotions, when we wear our emotions on our heart, on our sleeves, we, we wear our hearts on our sleeves, people are so quick to judge us. People are so, so quick to judge us. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to this very much. I don't think, I don't think my wife or my son has ever seen this movie. I'll have to see if, if, yeah, I'll have to see if my mother has seen it at all, because it is 1984, so, yeah, she, she would be in her, in her 30s, I do believe, around about, more or less, so maybe she has seen it, maybe, or even my dad, maybe my father, my, my, maybe my father has, has seen it, my, maybe my father saw it. Not too sure. Anyway, I'll have to ask them. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into the, today's movie. Let's do this, okay? Remember, if you love this, guys, to hit that big heart button straight underneath the video, okay? Over on Patreon. Let's go, guys. Look at what you see. Dude, this song is sick! This is I can't believe I've never heard of this song before. The 1980s music is so special to me. It's so, so special. It just, it reminds me sitting out the back, out the back veranda with my grandmother and grandfather. It just reminds me, guys, with the old record players. Wow, this song is special. Morning, Bastion. Yeah, let me show you how daddy does it, buddy. <laughs> Look at these muscles. I had another dream, Dad. About Mom. Oh, where's his mom? But we have to get on with things, right? Oh, no, she's she's passed away. Can't let Mom's death be an excuse for not getting the old job done, right? I got a call from your math teacher yesterday. Unicorns. They're unicorns. Start keeping both feet on the ground, right? He's just a kid, bro. Okay. He's just a kid. Kid dreaming. Start facing your problems. You have a good day, son. Don't be late for school again. But y yesterday I wasn't. Hey, weirdo. Got any cash for today? Ah, bullies. Bullies. They're bullies. Run, Bastion. Get away from the bullies. Where's your money, man? I don't have any. No money. <laughs> Oh, poor fella. No, not again! I didn't think you're going, Whip! I never understood bullying when it comes to people seeing what's happening and just standing there and watching it. Like, I... Get out of here! I don't like kids. <laughs> Let me guess, there's an old man sitting in a chair, reading a book, who has become very angry over time. Yep. <laughs> Are you still here? No. The video arcade is down the street. I have 186 of them at home. Ah, comic. Wizard of Oz, Lord of the Rings, 20,000 Legs on the Street, Tarzan. Who are you running away from? Bullies. Shitheads. Just a kid. 
kids from school. Ted Shitheads. Well, why don't you give him a good punch in the nose? Well, I don't know. Let me just say, from seeing and witnessing bullying guys throughout school, the best thing you can do to a bully is to stand up to a bully. Don't take bullies crap, guys. I'm telling you right now. Growing up, you get told, don't worry about it, don't retaliate, and it gets worse and worse and worse because you're not retaliating. But the day you stand up for yourself against your bully, that's the day that you will succeed. The day you stand up for yourself and defeat evil, defeat bullying, because bullying is a form of evilness. The day you do that, guys, the day you will succeed Stand up to your bullies, guys. Stand up to your bullies. You don't have to use violence. You don't have to use fists. You don't have to use your legs. You don't have to kick and punch and claw. Maybe sometimes it may be required. I'm not condoning that. But stand up for yourself. I'm telling you guys, stand up for yourself and you will see the results. Just watch. Stand up for yourself. What's that book about? Oh, this is something special. <laughs> the never-ending story. Have you ever been Captain Nemo? But it's only a story. That's what I'm talking about. This book is not for you. Why do I have a feeling that he oh, yeah. wants the kid to grab the book? Why no. do I have the feeling? I don't, I don't. Do you guys have that feeling that... He wants to grab the book as he wants the kid to grab the book to read it for a reason. I don't know. I just got that. I got that from that guy then. Interesting. See, look, look. <laughs> oh, you're late for school, bro. That's detention. <laughs> ah, he's gonna flunk. He's gonna. He's gonna skip school. Attic? Why is he going to the attic? Oh, that's creepy as heck. What is he gonna do? He's probably gonna read the book, isn't he? Alright, this is, uh, this can get interesting. It was midnight in the howling forest. Ah, okay. So everything in this that we're going to see right now is is, liter is literally th this kid. It's his imagination. Okay, so they're actually not... It's not exactly what they're supposed to look like in the book, but it's what he pictures th them being, I do believe. The bat's still asleep. The, bla the bat doesn't even care. Well, would it be all right if I joined you this evening? <laughs> <laughs> now I see why you picked this camp. Nice bouquet. <laughs> Must be a real vintage. Those delicious rocks are the reason we camped here, all right? A rock fire? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Near my home. There used to be a beautiful lake. Nothing was there anymore. Not even a dried up lake. And it got bigger and bigger. First, there were no rocks. It got bigger and bigger. But yet it was nothing. Soon there won't be any rocks here either. So everything just disappeared and it expanded. What you have told us is also happening where I live in the West. It's already everywhere. So things are disappearing, or is nothing like a creature? What is it? After all, if the Empress can't save us, who could? Instead of taking off for the ivory tower, ah, right? So it's the... Ah, this makes sense. So this is why the old man wanted the kid to pick up the book. So he... Okay. So the kid essentially is the savior. All right. Wow. So this is why the old man wanted the kid to pick up the book. So he could help save these people inside the story. Ah, okay. Come on, old girl. This is making sense. This is making sense. The nothing. 
So the nothing is essentially just some. It, it's something, but it's wiping things out and becoming nothing. Okay. I never knew it was that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stay away. The music in this is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous, the music, man. Absolutely gorgeous. The home of the Empress. She's our only hope. I wonder if they did a live theater performance of the never ending story because I've seen the 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 live performance of the wizard of oz but the never ending story I've never heard of a live performance let me know if they did a live theatrical performance guys that would be fascinating friends I know why you are all here the nothing is destroying our world the empress herself has become deathly ill <laughs> But there just might be one chance. The kid reading the book. He is our only hope. His name is Atreyu. Atreyu. Ah, uh, so Atreyu. he's picturing who Atreyu is so he can continue the story. Okay, so everything is a figment of this kid's imagination. Okay, this is brilliant. The Empress. This is written fan magnificently. He carried with him. The hopes of all Fantasia. This this must be a Treyu, yes? I am a Treyu. <laughs> no, wait! What kind of a quest? To find a cure for the Empress. Hmm. No one can give you any advice except The Empress? So now does a Treyu can he save the world or does it have to be the Empress? So the Empress comes first before saving the world, or do they save the world before the Empress? Or do they need the Empress to save the world? Because they said they need the Empress to save the world, but now that Atreyu is involved, do they just need Atreyu to save the world? Can you save the world first before the, the Empress? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Accept this. You must leave all your weapons behind. But if you fail, the Empress will surely die, and our whole world will be utterly destroyed. So you need to save the Empress to save the world, okay. When do I begin? Now, he who wears the Orin speaks for the Empress. Yeah, right. Dude, this music's sick. That reminded me of the arcades back when I was a little kid, man. All the arcade machines. Wait, was that the nothing creature or? Ah, uh, so it's not nothing, it's just another creature. Okay. I like this. I like this so far. They had, but they could not find a cure for the Empress. That the creature of darkness, the Gamork, is already tracking them down. Look how beautiful that horse is. What is it, Artex? Artax. Wake oh. up, Atreyu! I know. Wake up! Time to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hungry. No, it's a great idea. Ah, the kid's gonna eat as well. Bastion is going to eat as well. That that creature looks scary as heck. And so there is only one chance left. Find Morla, the Ancient One, somewhere in the deadly swamps of sadness. Whoever let the sadness overtake him would sink into the swamp. Ah, uh, okay, so you can't be sad at all. If you're sad, you're going to sink. Oh no, the horse is sad. Oh no, Artax. Artax, you're sinking! Come on, fight against the sadness, Artax! Come on, Artax! Come on, Artax! He's dead! Oh no! The horse! Oh no! My heart! My soul! Oh no! I did not expect that. 
Guys, that's so sad. The horse let sadness take control of him. Oh, oh man. I felt Atreus, I felt his heart breaking, man. Oh, wow. Wow. I wasn't expecting that in this sort of a movie, but okay. Marla. Oh. What the heck is this? Why did you scream? And why did they hear the kid? What the heck? He couldn't have heard me. Are you Mola? The ancient one? Why did the kid scream? What the heck? We haven't seen the Orin in a long... We? Is there someone else here too? Whoa! Asus! Did you know that the Empress is very ill? Actually... We don't care. If I don't say this, she'll die! <laughs> There's a terrible nothing sweeping over the land! What a savage! We don't even care. Please help me. You said you knew <laughs> the answer. <answers. laughs> You're tired of sneezing. Go away. <sighs> nothing matters. Can ask the Southern Oracle. Southern Oracle? But that's so funny. That's right. Well, school's out. Time to go home, buddy. What the heck? All those kids left very early, didn't they? Okay, so this kid is staying in school in an attic. A tree wouldn't quit now. The music's magnificent, isn't it? Uh oh, that beast is coming for you, man. The sadness of the swamp is gonna get him. <laughs> okay, what the frick just happened? There was like a dragon. Was that the thing that I saw on the on the thumbnail? He was clean, and his wounds were dressed. That's a weird looking creature, isn't it? What the heck? Look at its face. It looks like a dog. Is it like a dog dragon? Is it a drag dog? A dagon. A dagon. Is it a dagon? Or a doggon? Is it a doggon? Maybe it's a doggon. Whatever it is, it's fascinating. It's unique. It is a unique creature. So soon. And it speaks English. Okay. Magnificent. I was trying to sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a luck dragon. Ah, a luck Falcor. dragon. Falcor. And my name is... Atreyu. That's so good. Thank you. I bet you that's what dogs and cats say when we scratch so them behind the ear. You're on your way to the Southern Oracle? It's right around the corner. How'd all this happen? You've already brought me the entire 10,000 miles? Never give up. And good luck will find you. Falcor, why didn't you take him the whole way? It's good to have a friend again. You have more than one. <laughs> That's a creepy laugh. That's more creepier than my laugh. He 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 he. I will need my scientific advice much more. Yes. Yes. Uh, he's well. I decide when he's well. It's your turn when I say it's your turn. Here. Drink that. That's my batwing broth. From a rancid sea serpent. Yes. Where did you and your Ugh. friend come from? My name is Ingebuk. She's Urgle. Ever heard of me? Mm. I am the expert on the Southern Oracle. There's no fool like an old fool. Wait! Stay here. <laughs> you can <laughs> You can tell these two are a married couple. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, they're just literally they're roasting each other. This is this is absolutely oh. 
<laughs> Come on, lazy bones. Can't you go any faster? <laughs> I mean, look. You see how they got that, that camera shot? Have a look. You see how they've done this? They're actually the same size, but he's further back, yes? He's further back, so when he comes closer, you'll see. He'll go up to probably, I don't know, maybe his chest? It's the first of the two gates you must pass through before you reach the Southern Oracle. Mm. I get most people never get that far. The Sphinx's eyes stay closed until someone who does not feel his own worth tries to pass by. Hmm. Let's see what he really thinks of himself. <laughs> Go on, scaredy cat. Oh, no. Oof. Yeah, right. Jeez Louise. Fair to So, So you have to believe in yourself to pass. I'm going to try it. No. I've not told you about the next game. It's even worse than this one. Believe in yourself, young fella. Believe in yourself. Wait, are they boobs? Okay. Be confident. Be confident. We made it. We made it. The worst one is coming up. Next is the magic mirror gate. Brave men discover. That they are really cowards. Huh. Most men run away screaming. Imagine if there was this sort of mirror in real life, guys. Imagine if there was this sort of mirror in real life. In fact, I would love a mirror like that. Just to put people that I know in front of that mirror. Oh, oh this is the mirror. Alright, here we go. Ah, yes, makes sense, doesn't it? This is going too far. Mate, this movie is pretty darn cool, isn't it? You know that's not your book either, buddy. That's someone else's book that you stole and need to return, and you've just thrown it. What if they really do know about me and Fantasia? Interesting. That could be a that could be a great great plot twist right there. Did that person just go through the book to here? No way. The Southern Oracle? Ah. Alright. Are you the Southern Oracle? Yes. Then you must know what can say Fantasia! We do. Well, what is it? The Empress needs a new name. A new name? A new name? No one from Fantasia can do it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, only a human child! Ah! Oh, okay! Okay, so I wonder if the... See, what I said before, this is why the old man let the kid have the book. It's so he could finish the story off. The kid, Bastion, needs to come up with a name for the, for the Empress. Okay. Wow. That is pretty darn cool if you think about that. Wow, this movie is quite good, isn't it? Quite good. A human child? Where can I find one? Beyond the boundaries of Fantasia, you must hurry. I'm quite enjoying this. I'm quite enjoying this. We'll reach the boundaries of Fantasia. We have to hurry. All right, hang on tight. <laughs> Thank you.
This music's magnificent. It honestly reminds me of the arcade machines back when I was a little child, man. Ah, the memories. The beautiful, glorious memories. My mother. She had such a wonderful name. <laughs> It wasn't that windy just a second ago when the windows were open. What the heck? That came out of nowhere. It wasn't even lightning like that. Atreyu. Oh no. Atreyu. Oh, this is the big rock dude, is it? Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is too. Look. I always thought that's what they were, my little friends. I couldn't hold on to them. Oh. No, you didn't fail. I'm the one who failed. Nothing will be here any minute. I will just sit. Poor fella. Poor fella. Need to get to that Empress real quick. Uh, Atreyu, you need to get to that Empress real. His quest was painted. One or two things. Someone was painting his journey so they can worship him. Or two, this was destiny. <gasps> Last time you charged at him, mate. So why don't you Who do it now? I am the Morg. I will not die easily. I am a warrior. Then fight the nothing. But I can't! Don't you know anything about Fantasia? It's the world of human fantasy. It's a piece of the dreams and hopes of mankind. Ah, oh, okay. It has no boundaries. Power. Okay. Okay. Whoever has the control has the power. Come for me, Gmok! I am a trail! Oh. Ah, oh, he's going to find the medallion. And bring it to Atreyu. Atreyu! <gasps> well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Fair dinkum. Whew. That was very, very lucky. That was the end of Fantasia. Only a few Oh, wait, what? Rich and beautiful world had been left by the nothing. Oh, so he didn't even make it to save Hello, Fantasia. Falco. Do you suppose the Ivory Tower is still standing? Let's hope so. If the Ivory Tower still stands, take us there. I wonder if they used a real life like robot machine for the for the luck dragon. Yep, sure is. Go on. Falco, you done brilliant. Muy bien, Falco. Excellent. The Empress is a little child? What the heck? Atreyu, why do you look so sad? Because the whole world, the whole Fantasia just got destroyed. I have failed you, Empress. You haven't. You brought him with you. Who? The Earthling child. Who can save us all? Hmm. You know about the Earthling child? I knew everything. What? My horse died. He went through all that, and he could have just gone to the Empress and asked her, "What do we need to do? What do we need to do to save Fantasia?" But I didn't get in touch with an Earthling. Yes, you did. He went through everything you went through. Hmm. Okay. And now, he has come here. 
with you. What? <laughs> Where is he? If he's so close, why doesn't he arrive? He doesn't realize he's already a part of the never-ending story. Just give her a bloody name! Story. They were with him when he hid from the boys in the bookstore. Huh? But that's impossible! They were with him when he took the book in which he's reading his own story. Right now. They can't be talking about me. He doesn't understand that he's the one who has the power to stop it. He simply can't imagine. Is it really me? Just give her a name! He has to give me a new name. Bastion. Whoa. Why don't you? Moon child? Yeah, right. Fantasia has totally disappeared. Yes. Fantasia can arise in you. Hmm. Me. How? Open your hand. How many wishes do I get? As many as you want. Hmm. And the okay. More wishes, the more magnificent Fantasia will become. Then my first wish is. Yeah! Like it? Ah, uh, this movie is uh, the music. <laughs> what would you like to wish for next? <laughs> Let's see how you like it, chicken! Not you! You can see why this is tailored for, for young kids. This is brilliant. Many other but that's Another story. Turn around, look at the in the light. Wow. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent, guys. Ah. Wow. That music is so good. So, so good. I didn't think I would be saying that about this. Like I was saying, guys. That music was sensational, absolutely sensational. And it's, there's so many stories that young kids can learn from this movie. It's so good. And you know why now it's directed towards young children. Mm. I find it fascinating. What, what, what's so fascinating about this movie is that you're, you're able to you're able to be captivated in the storyline and yet you're you're getting lost in the world of fictional and it's 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 like a fantasy land hence fantasia but it's a fantasy land that you've always thought about when you were a child and it's amazing how they 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 made it so the kid was in the end the one dictating the story and now the dragon the luck dragon falco he he appeared in the real world now that's that made me think number two that's what that is all about is it's more not necessarily about the book but about the real world and the luck dragon with the kid. Hmm. Very interesting how that ended then. But the BGM guys. The background music for this was just sensational. Absolutely sensational guys. Absolutely sensational. I can't get over the fact that. I may have so seen some boobies. But. How good this movie would be to. To. To show kids. To show kids. Because you had everything. When, whether it comes to bullies. How to deal with it. When it comes to being confident with yourself. When it, whether it comes to believing in yourself. Whether it comes to showing creativity. Showcasing your, your creativity. 
It's a really good movie. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it that, that, that I'll, I, I can go on through. But there's just so much about this movie that really sits well with me. And it was a bit poetic as well, which I liked. I liked. I liked a lot. And it was... The only real sad bit was was the horse. Was when the horse got sucked under. My heart was breaking. My heart was absolutely breaking with Atreyu. It, it was absolutely tearing to shreds. And I think that would be one of the saddest moments... As a child watching this, that would be so sad. If my heart was getting ripped out, oh. But what a fascinating film. I don't think I've seen anything yet like that. That was very, very interesting in my eye. Very, very, very interesting. But, like I said, I enjoyed it. The BGM, that's... that's pfft. That BGM is magnificent. That reminds me of the arcades back in the day, guys. Back in the day. I mean, with the limited money I had back in the day when we used to go literally miles just to go to an arcade machine. And I couldn't afford it. And my my grandparents couldn't really afford it. But my grandparent, my, my granddad took me. And... That reminded me of some of the arcades. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, that's just magnificent. I don't want to get too emotional, but that's just magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's movie. If you did, remember over on YouTube, you can go watch this in full with me over on Patreon. It'll be down in the description. Like I said, this has so many messages, this movie. It's just... It's, it's, it's everything. You can describe everything about it. It's gorgeous, incredible, amazing, beautiful, stunning. 1984, and yet this was... Look how good it was. you got to remember, 1984. Young kids will see this these days and be like... Well, teenagers, and they'll be like, <laughs> Look, it's so ridiculous. Look, look at the green screen. You can see it. This is 1984. This is glorious. This is glorious. 1984, guys. But anyway, I appreciated this movie. I really did appreciate it. I really did appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I hope you did as well. Remember to drop a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscription button down below. I love you all. Everyone on Patreon, thank you very much for supporting me every day. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's movie. Stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, guys. I love you all.